You may be wondering why we're in this camera setup because we are actually going to get a dub in Fortnite. This isn't going to be the whole video, but we're starting it off with this. You ready? Mm hmm. So I don't play Fortnite anymore, really, but I still know. I still got the mechanics down, but I ain't as elite as I used to be. Who remember who misses the OG Fortnite <laughs> with tilted and stuff? <gasps> oh my god, now I got hiccups while we're recording. <gasps> There's a guy here. <gasps> wow. <gasps> Guys, Sid just killed that girl and I have the fucking <gasps> hiccups. <gasps> oh my god, guys, I have the fucking hiccups. This guy's got a sniper, I forgot I had one. Oh, you just built in front All of me right. one shot. <laughs> Got him. Adam. Well, there's a kid over here. That's a Fortnite rule. Hit him, hit him. Jeez! You guys couldn't see it, but she just sniped him. Oh, it's his teammate. It's here. He's assed up. Oh, I see one. They're, they're at the. Okay. Wait. What does the shark give you? Mm. Oh, it actually gives you. Oh, what the hell? What? I was shooting a shark and those fucking guys are on me. Are they trying hard? Talk, or 105, hit 105. Got one. The other guy, you're The other guy's lit, right? Yeah. Where is he? <gasps> Autumn? Yeah. You're welcome, I got her low for you. I thought you got. I need to use that campfire. Oh my god! The shark just scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, you scared me so bad. I'm sorry. That was so loud. You should replay that and watch my face. I, I need to use that campfire. Oh my god! Oh, oh my. Oh. She sniped me. They're trash. Oh, maybe they're not trash. There's guys over this way too. People here. She's above you. She's above you. She's coming. <gasps> nice. Yeah, I won't be able to get you. Will I be able to get you? Yeah, well. You're on your own. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah. I'm getting shot from both ways, literally. Yo, what? I just froze and died. What? I don't know. Look at my health. The perfect game ruined. Well, it's up to Sid now, guys. Die. <laughs> that's all she wrote. Yeah, as you saw, I froze. Anyways, I think that was entertaining, dude. Guys, unfortunately, we cannot get the dub in Fort, but we're gonna go for actual brunch with my parents now. I feel like my vlog's turning into a food vlog. We're gonna place on Ossington. It's Korean style brunch. So we're gonna walk there and meet my parents there. They're gonna drive. Not sure what my dad's doing right now, though. What are you doing, Dad? We're going now, okay? Me, you there? Dad? Yeah. Explain what you ordered. I have ordered a bukuki burger. Yeah. I'm excited to see what that is. I can imagine what it is, like the beef is shredded. Yeah. What'd you get? Uh, some pancakes, bananas, and walnuts. Right, so I got eggs benedict, kimchi style, Ooh. with pork belly, and a salad. Dad, what did you get? Bukuki burger. Mm -hmm. a lot. First bite. Pork belly. Mm -hmm. Thanks for lunch, Dad. Thank you for brunch. Yeah, the bill just blow over. You know, I didn't want to fight with you. So <laughs> This is a bent gable knits mask my mom made. They're not for sale. 
Friends and family only. Your mask is cool, eh? What? Your mask looks like a ninja mask. Yeah, I do. Yeah. The day I've been waiting for finally has came true. You see this? Read that. And now look at this reaction. Yes! It's a reaction. Okay, explain your hatred for him. Insert video. The physicality of his routes and, and making, getting those extra yards. Does that give you a little bit of an enjoyment to see him kind of truck sticking people out there? It's funny to hear a female talk about routes. Like, it's funny. Okay, well, he's a good quarterback, so maybe he should. Hop on the bandwagon now. Woo! I just clutched. 17 wins in weekend league. Skip, ignore this part if you don't understand. But I had six disconnects the whole weekend. I was contemplating quitting FIFA. I had to go like 10 and one or something in my last games and I did it. Oh, the addiction's back. Tuesday. Yeah, I have a haircut right now. I'm not gonna bring my camera, but I'm going to the fitting room, which is on Dundas. This is what my haircut looks like. Ready? The guy who cuts my hair is named Brian. I think he did a pretty good job. Let me know what you guys think. Cuts Levi's hair too. Sid's first day at work. I'm gonna drop her off, get some food, bring you guys along, and see where the day takes me today. My hair is so long here that I have like a part there now, so he was it. I just like slick this part back. Just dropped Sid off and I'm at Apple now. And I wanna get a phone case. And they have like people taking temperatures at the front to get in. It's pretty crazy. I've never seen any other store have that. You guys, I got this case from Apple and immediately when I bought it and tried to charge it, it just doesn't work. Does anyone else have problems with these cases? I feel like every time I buy a charging case, it's so expensive and it never works. So Sid's back from her first day of work, how was it? I didn't vlog that much today because I was doing something secret that I'm making for you guys. I'm not sure how long it will take me, but it is for you guys and I don't want to talk about it yet. It will be sick. Hopefully within a week or two, right? Give me some energy. Yeah. <laughs> My dog just went to the vet because she was limping. She has displaced hips and needs surgery. So she's just lying here all day. It's my other dog, Tyson. He's allergic to everything. They did allergy tests once and he tested positive for like everything. So this is my old room. You guys probably saw my closet tour. But I have all these shoes here still. These are my super beat off-white ones. My top three shoes that are here. I think these got to be one. A lot of people probably like these, but I find them like hard to wear and they're kind of uncomfortable, but they're pretty sick at the detail. Supreme Stars. Maybe these too. These are really nice. These are comfortable. I've worn them a lot. These are the best quality ones I have. Kind of miss my old room. And now it's been turned into the Bent Gable Knit Sweatshop. These are some of the jackets. Are these sold yet, Mom? These are unfinished, but the sleeves are all vintage Mexican blanket. So it's actually Canada Day, that's why those fireworks are going off. Yeah, my dog is literally freaking out because of the fireworks. I want to end this video on my dad showing you how to make this amazing steak. I think it's really easy too. It's a filet, so if you ever want to make a steak, and I guarantee you this recipe is amazing because Sid, Sid has had it. What do you have to say about it? Chef's kiss. Anyways, I want to cut to it right now. So dad, we're going to make this steak. Very simple, very easy, very fast. Okay, so for the steak, all you use is salt and pepper, right? And besides that, you make a garlic butter. Mm -hmm. So this is the finished product of the garlic butter. It's already made. Mm -hmm. But do you want to just explain it quickly how you make it? The garlic butter. First step, you peel shallot and garlic. Then after that, uh, you keep butter room temperature. It's very important. And after that, squeeze lemon juice parsley picked and then after that you mush everything together because it's room temperature and then you seasoning with a little few, few drop of tabasco some worsley sauce salt and white pepper and very simple after you blend it it would become like this it would turn into garlic butter the next step is just the steak super easy right so you know i put the steak out room temperature before i seasoning with a little bit of black background black pepper no marinade even right nothing yeah do black pepper. How long do you leave it up? Just so it's room temperature? Room temperature, yeah. My trick is I use soft butter. But meanwhile, get a cast iron pan, heat it up. Huh. Then I spread, smear some fresh butter. Not just the garlic like, butter, just regular. Right? Just a regular butter. Why is it important for it to be cast iron? The cast iron will keep the heat, number one. Number two, also sear nicely. So the pan is nicely contain heat. You can roast it. But you want to see the pan a little bit of smoke. 
Can you see the smoke coming out a little bit? Yeah. It's hard butter, making sure the stick nice and dry, very important. So when I push in, I just flip and I press. And I let it and fry, sear, sear, sear. Yeah. And let the butter kind of sear the stick. Get it nice and golden brown, maybe two minutes. And then I slow it down. What kind of meat is this? This is filet. Why? And I do like grass fat. Because it's lean, it's healthier, not so greasy. So meanwhile, I'm kind of lip up a little bit, let the oil, let the butter kind of swim in there. Now, it's almost like two minutes, I slow it down. Like in a sort of like a low medium heat. Now it's, now you need it to not burn the meat, but drying the meat. Now you're cooking the inside, slowly. So how long would you say you cook it for? No. I would say another, maybe uh, two and a half minutes. And you're cooking this what, medium rare, right? On the rare side? On the rare side, yeah. The way you like it. What do you think about people who eat their steak like well done? Well, the steak eating well done, uh, you shouldn't be, it won't taste good, it tastes really dry. You must having a stew. Cooking, it's seasoning, the butter is golden brown. Um, you know, the oil, making sure it's in one direction. You know, make sure your surface is nice and flat. Once in a while, you kind of move move the steak a little bit. You don't have to do much. Sometimes people do like complicated uh, yeah, marinade. You know, yeah, you, I mean, you know, sometimes people use a lot of the garlic, rosemary, or thyme to baste it. You know, I think uh, if you want to just have a simple fillet, you don't need to do any basing. Sear, boom, done. And then the garlic butter give all the flavor. Yeah, this is the key. That's the key. And it's really easy to make. You see the color of the steak? You can tell. You see the color of the steak? Nice. Yeah. A bit. You can just increase the heat just a little bit. Let it cook the other side and that's it. Now very slowly, maybe about, I would say, three minutes, one side. And then we'll come back and talk about this. Now I turn off and let it rest on the pan. Yeah. I would say rest another, you know, maybe two minutes. And then we'll put it on the plate and let it rest again. And then we're gonna cut, and then we're gonna use our magic, the garlic butter. Hey, why is it important to rest the steak? Well, because the juice kept it inside so it doesn't burst out. Because when it has heat, when you're cooking the meat, they compress. When it's rest, it means there's no more compression of heat. It means the juice stay inside of the meat. Even if you don't have this garlic butter, it still tastes really good, no? Mm -hmm. You just want to make it quick. How long would you say it takes to make the steak? I would say all including together, the garlic, Including the garlic butter. I would say, you know, making garlic butter, it takes way longer than making the steak. I would say garlic butter at least like 15 minutes. Yeah. Because of blending, making sure they incorporate it. But very important, make sure you're not over blending it. Otherwise, because the rotation of the blender give a heat and sometimes it will break the butter. So making sure your butter is soft enough, you can use a spatula to rotate. So the steak is ready. And put this steak. And then now I'm going to finish with this. Use the same pan with some butter. I would say almost like a tablespoon. You're swearing with all the juice and uh, you know on the pan. Now cooking garlic butter, you don't have to cook it for too too long. Just a little bit fry it, just a little bit. You see the bubble? Yeah. When the bubble starts, means your butter is ready. You see this? Oh, it looks so good. It smells so good too. I like my steak like medium rare on the rare side. It's perfect like that. Perfect. Mm. Very buttery. Because filet is so lean, the heat of the pan is perfect. You don't see it getting too dry. So you can still eat the tenderness of the beef. Uh, thank you for showing them. Welcome. Well, you know what, son? Next next time we gotta do a little something a little more level complicated. Two. Level yeah. two. So that was just level one for you guys. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys make that steak. If you do, uh, send a picture of it to me. I swear to God, this is like my favorite steak, even though it's so simple. Hope it turns out for you the way it does for me. Yeah, I'm doing kind of something dumb for my next video, and I'm probably gonna regret it. But I don't want to speak too much about it. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Right.